Lanzhou, the capital city of Gansu province. It's located in northwestern China and home to more than 3 million people. Lanzhou is China's regional hub connecting east and west, but the city's location within a valley makes expansion a challenge. In 2009, the Asian Development Bank approved a $150 million loan to develop an urban road network and a mass transport system to serve a new city centre on the northern bank of the Yellow River. This is part of the urban master plan by the Lanzhou Municipal Government. Under the ADB financed project, a 12-kilometre-long bus rapid transit system or BRT was built. Over 100,000 people use the BRT daily. The BRT service has been in operation for a year. Compared to the old buses, I feel the BRT bus is well designed and easy to handle. Our workload has been greatly reduced. Passenger comfort is a priority on the BRT, on or off the bus. Stations and buses are heated or cooled, depending on the season. Disabled passengers will also find it easy to board or disembark the buses, equipped with handicap-friendly facilities. While efficiency of the BRT is important, safety is also taken into great account in the design. In heavy traffic areas, pedestrian overpasses or underground walkways are used. BRT buses are also designed for two-sided entries to facilitate smoother passenger flow. But the split bus stations can still accommodate traditional one-sided entry buses to allow for easy transfers if needed. Nine-year-old Peng Yongqing takes the bus to school alone. The punctuality and safety of the BRT frees Peng Yongqing's mother from worrying about her daughter going to school alone. The bus stations are manned by BRT staff who process ticketing, answer questions and monitor and maintain safety conditions. The stations are connected to the BRT Traffic Management Centre with GPS technology, allowing them to report any incident in real time. BRT buses are environmentally friendly. They're fueled by natural gas, cutting greenhouse gas emissions by up to 12,000 tonnes of CO2 a year. Lanzo Public Transport Group signed an agreement with the Future Carbon Fund, administered by ADB for selling carbon credits. In the coming seven years, it will earn about 6 million RMB for the group. With the success of this project, residents in Lancho City will enjoy a more convenient public transport system for a long time to come.